Hello, this is Jimmy and you are watching the Elementary Info YouTube channel. If you are looking for a herpes cure, visit the website link in this video's description and in the first comment. Welcome to TEI Herpes. Today's video explores immune evasion mechanisms, the clever strategies pathogens use to outsmart our immune system. Pathogens, like viruses and bacteria, have developed various tactics to survive and thrive in the host. Let's take a look at some of the most common mechanisms. First, we have antigenic variation, where pathogens change their surface proteins to avoid being recognized by antibodies. Influenza viruses are a great example of this. They mutate constantly, making it hard for our immune system to keep up. Next is the inhibition of antigen presentation. Some pathogens, like herpes simplex virus, block the host's ability to present antigens, which prevents the immune system from recognizing and attacking them. Then there's secretion of immune-modulating molecules, where pathogens release proteins to suppress immune responses. HIV is notorious for this, as it weakens the immune system by targeting helper T cells. Another strategy is hiding in immune-privileged sites. Certain pathogens, like the herpes simplex virus, go latent in neurons, where immune surveillance is limited. Some pathogens use physical defenses, like forming protective structures. Bacteria such as Staphylococcus aureus create biofilms that shield them from immune cells. Pathogens also employ molecular mimicry, where they disguise themselves by mimicking host molecules. For example, the syphilis-causing bacteria, Treponema pallidum, coats itself with host proteins to avoid detection. Additionally, many pathogens resist host defenses directly. Staphylococcus aureus, for instance, produces proteins that block antibodies from marking it for destruction. Lastly, some pathogens manipulate the immune system itself, like Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which tricks immune cells into creating a safe haven for the pathogen to thrive. Thanks for watching TEI Herpes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more health insights. Stay informed and see you next time.